we are on the fourth day of season 3. If you watch my previously video, it means you probably already have some epic gear from Grave of Venom. If you don't, don't worry. In this video I'm going to show you a free to play comp with only rare gear to start farming epic gear on Grave of Curse. Let's have a look. Right, so let's go, let's check this team. So you can farm this epic gear, alright, on the stage 4 and that's what I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the lineup I did to farm this, okay, no legendaries, alright, and this team I have some timings, alright, because it's, it's a bit tricky. So this guy cycles these skills on um, over 18 seconds, so you need to make sure you are applying your buffs and stealing his buffs. Uh, before the 18 seconds. Alright, so this guy gets this 30% uh, attack up and 30% damage up, which we need to uh, dispel, it's very important, and then this one is also important, he deals necrotic damage and converts his damage to a shield. So it's important you do two of uh, one of those two things. Or you dispel the shield, or we need to inflict some attack penalty so the shield, it does less damage and the shield will not be so bigger. So I'm applying an attack penalty. I'm using the, both the same tanks I used on my previous video on Grave of Venom. If you didn't watch it, just make sure to have a look to start farming some epic gear because it's going to help a lot doing some damage on this boss. All right, so regarding the, the gear, my gear has the exactly same gear uh, I used before. So defense percentage, defense percentage, and this one again, sorry guys, it's level 10, should be 8, because uh, if you are on the second, third day, you only will be able to reach 8, but if you are on the fourth day um, and you have strong uh, heroes, you're going to be able to level up to 12. Again, this is not the best one, alright guys, I'm going to say again which ones I recommend will be this one, Mirror of the Living, or the Scarab, they are really good, but this one will be the best one you can use. And then we have here Frobart, same strategy before, so I'm using Essence Burner, and this will be the really uh, good uh, artifact to use for this um, lineup, and for this strategy. Then I'm using another character, I'm using Grover, with this artifact, and in this case, you, you can use these artifacts, but the best one that I can recommend will be the Crown of the Unclean, because this way you can inflict some defense penalty and increase your damage. And then I'm using just some uh, rare gear, okay, so I have a set of rage to give some attack percentage, and this set to give some accuracy, and basically that's it. Then I have Ger Gertin, I have two ice place heroes, they are really good, they do uh, really good damage. On her, I'm even using a, a rare artifact, but the one I recommend for her will be the Manticore or the Eyeball, will be the best ones. And same thing applies to Pledin. I'm using this one, but will be the Manticore or the Eyeball as well. This one is not so bad, because it is always taking damage that gets him below 50%, so I'm getting this 28% extra attack. But still, if you are using one of these, will be uh, much better. And regarding these heroes, that's it. Then, about the timings, they are also really important. So, I have 18.5 on uh, Garrus because I want him to start casting his skills uh, after the boss does his skills, alright? So, it takes 18 seconds, as you guys can see here, 18 seconds. So 18.5 is going to use the link right after the boss uses ultimate. So he's going to fully recover all the heroes, all the team. Then I'm using Frobart and the attacks at 12, but I uh, put two more seconds on his first skill casting time because uh, this guy, he reduces, he doesn't say here, um, but let me show you guys. So his battle skill he has a 50% chance, if you have this uh, scroll him, then will be 20, 30, 30% of stealing 10% ultimate energy. So, over the fight, sometimes what happens when I, I had this on 12, the Frobart will be uh, casting the attack penalty too early, and the, that's why I delayed it for 2 more seconds. 
and then same thing, same plan for him. I have 17.5 because again, he cast, when he's casting his battle skill, his ultimate takes 16 seconds, so it's really fast, and that's why I'm also delaying the skill casting interval for two seconds because he is really fast, and also the first skill casting time also delaying it because he's really too fast, and I don't want to miss to steal those debuffs, those buffs from the boss. It's really important. And you, you, if you let the boss use the ultimate without attack penalty or with these buffs, he's going to do so much more damage, he's going to get a big shield and maybe one of your heroes will die and then you need to repeat everything all over again. So yeah, this is the skill casting time with the gear and team I'm using. And then I'm using this attack hour from Gertin, it gives me 30% damage, I'm okay with my defense, I'm not taking too much damage and I'm being able to heal back, so just the timings are really important, attack aura, and basically this is it, and with this team, you're gonna be able to farm some epic gear for your tanks. So, let's go! This fight should be alright. If you use the same timings I did, uh, you'll be alright. Just really important that you are doing a good amount of damage, but I'm pretty sure if you are using epic gear at the moment, uh, you'll be able to finish this. Because after 4, I take too much, I take too much time doing this, until I'm able to do it. But sometimes, and I'm not using epic gear, the epic artifact as well on Gertin, so, and I'm not using the right artifact on the other guy as well. So, if you are using the right artifact, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to do this much easier and much faster. Also with the uh, crown, uh, with the defense penalty, also gonna be able to uh, do more damage. Um, because, yeah, you guys can see my Gary is taking some damage, but he can heal back. If you're using the mirror, he's gonna heal much more, probably he's gonna heal to full HP, but but hopefully we have uh, Frubart there and he's giving some help to Garius to keep him healing him a little bit more and also the other characters as well. Uh, the problem of this new Grave of Curse is because uh, you have two tiles away from the place where you can place your heroes so this way your Frubart will not heal the guy that stays behind, the ranged hero so Garius is really the one of the best characters for all this content because he can heal all the battlefield area and yeah will be Garrus is the best character for all of this content because of that. Uh, also the Adret if you have Adret but I don't really want to use any legendaries for this content. I'm really trying to be <laughs> most free to player uh, possible and for that reason I don't really want to use any legendary gears because if you've not done that event and if you did not got enough ticket tokens uh, probably don't have that character and there's a bigger chance that for the ones watching this they have Garius rather than the Adret. Um, of course Adret can be a, a good choice as well instead of Garius um, but still I don't really know, maybe on the later stages uh, and you're probably gonna need to use the defense and not the attack percentage but on this stage I think Garrus will fit really well and he really does a great job if you have another stronger DPS's that you can use and at least use three of the same element uh, you can use it and you can use replace these ass blast heroes because they are here just for the damage and because they are the best epic uh, damage dealers you can choose and th they are really good uh, even in season 3 Ice Blast keeps being one of it's still one of the strongest um, damage types you can you can use and you guys can see here Gertin and the other guy are doing a really good damage the other guy the lightning one is also doing uh, Grove is also doing a good amount of damage because he's also stealing his <laughs> buffs, so he gets stronger. And if you are using the crown, you're going to uh, apply the defense penalty. And with that, you're gonna do even more damage. 
so you're gonna finish these faster and you guys are gonna understand what I mean about the damage uh, after <laughs> I finish this because the longer it takes because since Groove, uh, Groove is uh, also delaying, always delaying the the, ca the skills from this boss uh, there's a big chance that your skills uh, dis desynchronize and for that reason that's why it's important that you finish it as soon as possible so uh, otherwise they will desynchronize and then I mean you're gonna die because your healing will not be healing on the right time you're not gonna steal the debuffs not applying the attack penalty at the right time and that, that's the reason as you guys can see already four minutes I'm gonna take a little bit more than four minutes but again guys you can use the exact same theme and if you already farm some epic gear from Grave of Venom you can use that epic gear and you're gonna finish this much, fa much faster uh, with these heroes, especially with Gertin, she is amazing and she does an Im uh, insane damage. So 4 minutes and 20 seconds, 21 I think, uh, it's still good if you can do it. Alright guys, Grave of Curse, stage 4, with this you can already start farming some epic gear, some tank epic gear, which will be really good, especially if you are having some problems. Uh, doing Grave of Venom, if your tanks are taking too much damage and you don't have Garius or, or Frubart, this gear will help a lot reducing and mitigating that damage you are taking. And also will be really good if you want to um, boost your, your damage and your tankiness and you want to progress on the stages, it's really important that everyone has the right gear and epic gear, so it is you can progress on the stages and reach 7 or 8 or even 9 and start farming this legendary gear but at least 7 will be really good to start farming the, the materials that will help a lot to farm some to craft some legendary gear alright guys I hope this guide helped everyone if, again if you don't have Frubart or Garius comment below um, if there's a lot of people uh, complaining that they don't have Garius or Frubart then I'll try to create another guide uh, with Frubart and Garius so just come to my discord and I'll try to help you alright guys once again thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave that like and subscribe and see you next time